Hello guys, welcome back. You may hear some chainsaws in the background, don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm out in this beautiful forest, it's kind of a working forest, and uh, I'm going to be cooking on the Omnia oven again. So I wanted to do a, a few tests with this before I kind of did a proper review of it. done a cake in it twice now on a camp and in a video on this channel, and um, today I'm going to be doing like a calzone pizza. I've not exactly fooled it out, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, it should be delicious. Uh, I'm not going to be eating it all myself, my forestry friend's going to be having some as well, so just going to enjoy being here and doing some cooking. Now just as a refresher, this is the Omnia oven, it's got a lid, you get a rack and a silicon insert and it has this tray it sits on as well which diffuses the heat and the rest of the heat comes through the middle there, up inside. It's designed to be used on a stove top, on something like a gas burner, so you can use them in caravans and camping and things like that. Um, I believe you can also use it on a Trangia as well, but we'll uh, save that for another video. So, let's get started. For ease today, I'm just going to be using this sourdough pizza base, kind of dough mix that's already made in the pack. Uh, I've got a couple of them with me, depending if I go with like a pizza type situation or a calzone, we'll see. So yeah, just going to be using that. Just get this rolled out to start. Now I think the technique I'm going to go for is to use the Omnia oven to actually cut out the pastry to line it, or the bread dough, and see how that goes. A bit weird because of the hole in the middle. Right, it's not that authentic but I'm putting some tomato sauce inside the calzone as well as outside. Just a bit. And mozzarella of course. Got some pepperoni. Just layer that in. get a bit better there. And I have some parma ham to put in too. So we'll just drape that around. A little bit more mozzarella. Just sprinkle in a little parmesan. Because I had some left over from my bolognese video on the main channel, I'll stick some parsley in there. Okay, my plan is to make it like a calzone of sorts, a ring calzone. So just get another layer of dough I've just rolled out and try and press it into what I can get to of the base. Now looking somewhat vaguely like I imagined, I'm just going to put a little oil on the top. And sprinkle that crust with the parmesan. So this time I'm going to warm up the base plate, try and get a nice crust on the pizza. And with that warmed up, I'm going to go on with the Omnia oven. There we go. Temperature's rising now, so we're all good. I've just had a little peek at the calzone. It's looking good, it just needs to brown a little more on top. I'm hoping while it does that it's not actually burning on the bottom, so we'll see. 
always a bit of a guessing game, but generally it's held up and been good. Little peak, it is going golden. I think I may take it off though because although I want the top to be nice and golden, I don't want to burn the bottom. <laughs> I'm just going to heat through some passata with some parsley and a little bit of that parmesan for uh, flavouring and seasoning in there. Although, the cup doesn't really fit on here. <laughs> Never thought about that, did you Andy? So it's take two with this sauce, as you can see. Uh, it does actually fit straight on the burner, it's not ideal, but <laughs> it's better than spilling it. Okay, here we go, it's out. It held in one piece pretty much. A little bit of cheese leakage, which just helped brown the bottom, really. So, presentation. Sauce the top. Add some more parsley. And I guess it's time to cut into it. cheesy and gooey and nice. Just going to cut off one more bit to try. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's good. Yeah I thought the dough wasn't cooked through but that's just where the cheese is. Mm. Let's try it with that dipping sauce. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> mm. That is good. You could put some cheese on the bottom, I guess, and um, when you serve it, actually serve it upside down, but it looks perfectly nice to me. Mm. Some dipping sauce. You don't have to dip on the tailgate. <laughs> <laughs> That was lovely. That was really good. That came out pretty much exactly how I wanted it to. Um, be interesting to try it as just a pizza rather than a calzone as well. Um, and see how kind of golden and melty the cheese on top gets. But yeah, it was starting to gold up. I guess as the top firms, you could flip it maybe um, with a plate or something and some gloves. I don't know, but I don't think it really needed it. It was lovely. Uh, this thing continues to surprise me. I didn't think it would work when I first got it, but so far the two cakes and the calzone have been absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, I think a lot of them air fryer recipes would work good in this as well, so I might try doing some wedges or chips or something, things like that, and kind of try that out. Plus if you've got maybe frozen food like breaded chicken or something, it'd be ideal for stuff like that at camp. But yeah, I think that was a success. Hopefully you enjoyed it, I really enjoyed it, as did my mate. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Uh, gonna have another video with this where I'm gonna try it with um, my Trangia kit because I've tried it and it does fit perfectly so we'll see how that works out. See you next time, goodbye.